certain parasites invade the earth. And, um, you know, there's been plenty of movies, sci-fi movies, um, talking about these um, parasites that somehow end up in a human being's body and they take control of it or they just let, use that body as a host uh, for whatever reasons, I, I think, to control because they think it's nice to have a human host so they can live through. So um, let's look at this, you all. Did alien parasites invade the earth? Because um, I ran into this story, and I think it's from a sarcastic news site is what I think it's from. I've already put all the links to things that we would go through. I've already put them in the comment, not the comment section, in the description of this video. Hello, Apple Brooks, honey. Hello, everyone. Um, so let's look at this, you all. I thought this was really interesting. Um, I'm going to make sure I come on here. Let me put this to me. I do not want any type of audio whatsoever um, playing on any media when I come on here. Video capture, uh, mic aux, desktop audio. I don't, can you hear me? I've turned off my desktop audio. Can you hear me? Uh, you might be able to hear me. Let me come on over here. Um, let's, uh, let me get over here. Um, whoa, 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 you all, let me skip this, okay, that's perfect, you can hear me, so I've come over here to this onion, I think this is supposed to be a sarcastic thing, there's no use worrying over things, the parasitic alien life forms living inside of us can't control, okay, so let me, let me read that again, there's no use worrying over things, the parasitic alien life forms living inside of us can't control. So you don't need to worry. I'm thinking, why are you writing about alien life forms living inside of a body? Look at this, you all. Everyone gets stressed out from time to time, whether you're having a bad day or stuff like that. And you can feel overwhelming. And they say, more or less, there's absolutely... No use sweating the things that the parasitic alien life form that's latched onto your brain stem can't control. And I thought, you know what? Why would you even write an article like that? Why would you write an article like that uh, joking that there is a life form that's latched onto your brain stem? Because I don't think that's funny. I really don't because I think it's a very high probability that there are humans on this earth with alien parasitic life forms latched on the back of them controlling them you are that's not funny but i think this is supposed to be a sarcastic uh, piece so um look at this it's beyond the scope of what your slugged shaped alien parasite that has burrowed inside your brain via your ear canal has any effect over like the traffic and deadlines so what's the point look at this some things the powerful extraterrestrial organism can control, some things it can't. The key is to recognize the difference. So um, let's see this. Let's talk about this. So instead of focusing on what's the growing creature inside your brain can influence, like your motor functions, your desires, and your vital minerals, you must seek the prescribed intervals to sustain it. The alien that's pushing inside your brain, even now, can make that stuff go away. Look at this. So now this is this is what gets me because I think there's some kind of truth hidden in here. I really do. Um, remember, you cannot change the outcome of these things any more than you can change the fact that the comet crashed into the earth 10 years ago and cast an army of alien spores into the water supply and because at the end of the day the alien is there you all the alien it has full control of your central nervous system and it's just trying the best it can um uh, let's see. So the hyper intelligent wrapped tightly around my thalamus and my optic nerve couldn't have foreseen this and it can't change how my client felt. So he's more or less saying he's got this thing wrapped around him, you all. The next time you're frustrated with your co-worker, just remember that he's got a parasitic alien life form feeding on his brain matter too. Um, 
It's um, fortifying the life-sucking organism. The life-sucking organism, you are on their brain. And you say, Gina, why are you reading about that? Because I um, was thinking about, you know, was there ever any parasitic alien life forms that would crash onto Earth? Because, you know, when NASA sends things out into space, they're their people and stuff you know they go into this containment area they do and um they don't want to bring back no parasitic life forms no microbes or anything like that they don't let's look at this uh it, they slammed a probe into a comet 10 years ago um like that so that was like a deep impact and we're not going to look at that you all they're talking about a mothership observation and things like that that's fine let's crash out of that then look at this right here on star trek the neural Neural parasite props log. Why are they talking about a neural parasite prop log? Look at this Star Trek blog, and this is in here, you all. Star Trek blog, uh, 2020. The first type is a flying parasite. Um, they're talking about Spock. They attacked by making physical contact and um, stung people. But listen, it says, once the parasite infiltrates a host, it pressures the host to obey its commands by inflicting enormous pain. So we've got Spock doing this. And, you know, it, it will do continuous pain, full simulation, and to lead to insanity and death. This parasite. So they got this other type. These adenovan parasites were originally designed by Wa Chang. Uh, in the Hawaii, um, look at this. The second type is a neural parasite, a nasty one. Its appearance of these parasitic being, beings resemble that of a crawling insect. They're purple in color. Um, they have two pinchers, six legs, and a blue gill. And you've got this right here. Inside the host's body, right here, you all. It... Um, it invades the host victim. Their gill protrudes from the victim's skin at the base of the neck, allowing it to breathe. Uh, it's only identifiable by the physical attributes shown by the parasite. Once inside the host body, the parasite takes complete control over all brain functions by placing its tendrils around the victim's brain stem. And when under control, it will... Um, the host exhibits enormous strength. So would you all look at this? So um, it's an intelligent, non-alien, humanoid, parasitic life form. This is the mother. Uh, was first discovered in the United Federation of Planet uh, through the true origins uh, life forms determined originated from an otherwise unexplored sector of the Milky Way. We mean you no harm. We seek peaceful coexistence and the actions of these aggressive parasites said otherwise as they had the ability to invade and control the humanoid species especially the humans and the Vulcans you all um, so why would they talk about something like that really why would they and then we come over here the puppet masters this is uh, I've got this link in here too the puppet masters are the parasites from hell that the pulp movies of the 40s and 50s owe much of their inception to a species that literally takes the body takes over the body of its hosts to fulfill their wicked wicked plan for domination the protagonist sam is a super agent of kinds uh, reporting to the president he seeks out a crash spaceship that has resulted in several strange disappearances and they can the disappearances are contributed to a repulsive slug-like alien that attaches itself to the host's brainstem so the host is flung about like Pinocchio. So why would they write books like this? Why would they do that? This is in the um, 40s and 50s. And you know the Roswell incident around the 47 and stuff like that. Dead Sea Scrolls. Why would they write a book called The Puppet Masters? See that sounds really interesting. The Puppet Masters. Let me click out of that. Then we have this one. Alien parasites threaten sci-fi traveler's infographic. Invasion of the alien parasites. Uh, seen from Prometheus right here. On Earth, a parasite is a life form that benefits by using another creature of a different species. It's estimated that up to half of all species may live parasitically. 
Science fiction horror films have seized upon the idea of parasites depicting ingenious and horrible ways to die from alien infestations. Um, so I really don't think that um, it's too far-fetched, if you look at this, that we could be invaded by um, an alien parasite that can completely take over our body and it could be attached to our brain stem it could um it may not look like that it may not um but it would be like a symbiote a symbiosis with the human being it would be look at this the trill is a binary race consisting of a humanoid host which is right here this is a woman living in union with a warm-like symbiote right. The host willingly submits to surgical implantation. They willingly admit to surgical implantation, you all, is what they do. And um, I think that um, we have something kind of similar to that. Really, we do. Um, you could say maybe perhaps it... <laughs> <laughs> it is like an alien life form thing right there. You can submit to a surgical implantation of this um, foreign body into your body so that you can be connected with it and um, all of that, you all, all of that. So um, it looks really uh, interesting if you, if you want to be a person who willingly submits to it. But you all, could you imagine... Having something like that um, inside of people, and really, there is an alien species, they say, that can get inside of the people, and I forget what the name of it was, that does go inside of you and lives off your body. Your body is its host, and uh, it's not far-fetched. It's, it's actually kind of real, and um, I think the movie's make kind of light of it and I think some of the articles um, make kind of light out of it but in essence I think that they are really telling you what's going on that there is some form of an alien parasitic life form on this earth and you are its host uh, if you have succumbed to it uh, yeah the real um, you could say the real uh, we've done a video on the real before we have let me uh, type that in, the real, uh, the coming of the real. Um, and they say that they were um, the coming race. Let's look at this, you all. The coming race um, is a novel by Edward Buller Linton, uh, published anonymously in 1871. The power of the coming race. Uh, they believe the account of a superior subterranean master race and energy form called the real. Um, is uh, coming and you know they were like a substance like thing um, like a what was like a I can't remember it was it was a really strange thing and they get in your body it's like um something I can't remember how it was they 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 control a they encounter a mysterious race. Uh, they control of control of a mysterious force. The the real is that thing that gets inside of you. I can't remember the name of it. I really cannot. But um, they take over the people, the other races. So um, yeah, like the movie and the faculty and stuff like that. Um, subtitles. You won't get subtitles until this video is ended. Until YouTube decides to. Um, have the uh, subtitles available. Tartaria, um, not long ago, 150 years, like the movie Faculties, like and subbed always, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. See, that's another one. Um, that is another one, you all. The Men in Black, are they um, taken over by the Body Snatchers too, the Men in Black? Because they, they could be. They could be taken over by the Body Snatchers, you all. And you... Um, you don't want your body taken over, but um, if your body is taken over by the body snatchers, I'm sure you might know it. Uh, but then you may not know it. 
But if you do know it, then you will feel kind of uh, superior to other human beings who have not been taken over by the body snatchers. I think that's, um, yeah, and I think there'll be other human beings who knows that your body has been taken over. That's right. Um, human sleeves, skins, and all of that. Mummies inside the moon craters. Yes, Susan Donahue, the real warm attaches itself to the optic nerve. Susan, honey, do you think they got a um, the, uh, um, a, pic a picture of that on here, an image that we can look at, a visual? The real warm attaches itself to the optic nerve. Let me just do this, Susan, honey. We're going to do this. Um, I'm going to type that in and see if that's going to bring up the real... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll remove the word creepy. I will. Let me let me do this. Um, yeah. oh, 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 that's right. They went through the eye, you all. They went through the eye. That's right. Uh, I think that's what happened. They, they went through the eye. You know, these things right here don't give us very many um, things things the reels wonder what's happened here you all i don't have hardly any images the real goes through the eye okay the secret of real okay now we got it susan that's great that's what they do you all they um they go through the eye but see they're not letting us see this is really strange. This right here, if I'm using um, DuckDuckGo and it's not giving me very many um, options to even look, it's not. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, no, this is virtual reality. The coming race. Yeah, but this got a whole lot more you all. So we can't really pull up an image on it anymore at all because it really, let's face it, it's not going to show us. I think they've really done something to the internet um, is what I think they've done. they like giving out the knowledge. You see them with the black eye afterward. You are that's really, um, eh, the real takes over their victims. So they would be like a body snatcher. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, the real, yeah, um, exactly what is the real, oh, yeah, so we've been on here before, we've looked at it before, we have, you all, and we're not going to really speak too much on it, because um, they don't like us to speak too much on it at all, they don't, let me put this back to you all, so, whew, hiding it now that we figured them out, Google owns DuckDuckGo now. Oh, T, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, um, did alien parasites invade the earth? Okay, did they? And I really don't think parasites really is a nice word to use. It sounds a little bit derogatory or something like that. But there are parasites. Um, I'd rather use an alien life forms uh, invade the earth. And they're probably small, but some not too small at all yeah um the wrath of khan yeah why do they hide we are them um the parasite is the right word yeah i don't want something going in my eye i don't i really don't and I don't want something like in the movies, alien movies and stuff, where the parasite is um, literally uh, wrapped around my thorax and attached to my brain stem. I don't think I want that. And I don't think I want it um, incubating inside my body and then coming out of my body, <laughs> busting a hole through my body, coming out uh, a, a full-grown being. I, I, I wouldn't want that either. And I wouldn't want one doing all of that kind of stuff. You all. It sounds kind of gross. It does. That's right. Yeah. Back ass woods, words, weird world. That's right. Symbiote. That's right. A symbiote. Um, I 
holodeck realities, your brain and technology. No, Susan, we don't want that, but I, th I think it's... Um, I think that there were aliens or life forms that have landed on Earth thousands of years ago, longer than I've existed or you existed. And I, I think some of them probably have coexisted uh, as long as they could, and they're maybe they're tired of coexisting with humans, not just parasitic, but other life forms probably. They probably had enough, and they're tired of waiting uh, on promises that never came to fruition is what I think are happening. And um, there's um, species on Earth, parasitic species on Earth. I'm sure there's other parasitic species out there um, above, too, along with some that are not parasitic, some that actually um, are in big, gigantic spacecraft, UFO ships, uh, yeah, that type who do not look like them, and they may not like the parasitic ones that are on the earth, and um, thus a battle will ensue. It will. And um, it, it might not be too pleasant. It may not. It won't be too pleasant at all. But, um, you know, we got battles going on. And there's only reason there's a battle is because there's two opposing forces uh, against one another. There may be even be three or four opposing. Uh, but then, you know, you're going to have some that's going to pick sides, and then you'll have two armies. You will. Two armies. And um, that's all right, you all. So alien parasites invade the earth. Yeah, I think they did. They wrote enough uh, literature about them and put enough movie and um, media content out there about them in all different types that I think we got a pretty good idea that, yes, um, they're on the earth, and some of them may be inside people. Uh, I just don't want them to get inside of me. I don't want to be symbiosis with um, uh, a life form that is, like, really physical in, inside of you, not just invisible, but physical and stuff like that. Invisible ones is not too nice either, but that's okay. So I am going to go, and um, with that being said, um, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a um, wonderful rest of your evening, you all. And um, I'll see you all later on here, perhaps tomorrow. Love you.